<laughs> so the fundamental way of thinking of Japanese food is not preparing food for yourself or thinking what you want to eat, but actually omotenashi, which is to prepare food for other people, to serve them and think with it, how you can please them and make them happy. And so this is the fundamental way of thinking. So please have this way of thinking in mind when you prepare the food. It's not for yourself, it's for other people. And to prevent it from like uh, coagulating at the bottom, you keep stirring it once in a while. Uh, 200 cc's of soy milk makes one block of tofu. Mm -hmm. So this is actually bigger. This is... So you see the bubbles again, but remember when the bubbles first appear it's about 60 degrees, so if you leave it on a little bit longer it goes. To keep the, the nigari at the bottom and just kind of rub it with the, the ladle, otherwise if you stir it too much it'll become too foamy. So keep the foam out. Just the one Just like wait. The moment of truth. There we go. Uh, so if you touch, if you can touch the sides, it's probably about 40 degrees. If it's too hot, then when you try to bring it out. <laughs> if the fry pan is preheated, then it, the, um, the um, I don't know what you call it, pancake, it will not stick. But if it's kind of cool, and then you gradually heat it up, it'll stick to the pan. Mm -hmm. So you put a little oil, but you make sure the pan is quite hot before you put it in. Mm -hmm. So you cut it in half and then slice it mm -hmm. for the sheet type. I think that's more dangerous. Yeah, before you heat it. Yeah. yeah. No. Some of it. Amazing, yeah. I haven't made, made 
eat tofu before, but it's the first time for me, but it's tasty, it's so amazing. Today I had a great time, and I, today I could know how to make tofu, so I want to make to my family. It's sort of interesting how you can craft an entire meal just through using one ingredient, soybeans, because I only sort of thought about like soy sauce, but you know, you get all these different things out of it, really find out all these different ways of using soybeans. So, uh, I was really impressed with what Sensei said at the beginning, is that in Japanese culture, you don't prepare food for yourself, you prepare it for other people. So you think, how is it going to be presented, how is it going to be prepared, and you put uh, your love for the other people into the food.